Hi, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do keyword research for YouTube in 2022 using the latest AI tool called vidIQ. And if you wanna see the results, this is one of them. This is how you can get results like this, all right? Number one, or this, number two, all right? And it's, I'm gonna show you everything I use to be able to rank for these keyword tool, uh, these keyword terms. Now, the reason why it's important, and I want to show you this, this is 10 days ago, because when you first publish a video, you, it's very easy to rank for number one. The hard part is, can you can you keep that rank 10 days out, 11 days out, one month out? That's the key issue here. Otherwise, you're not going to get long-term traffic or sustainable traffic. So I'm going to show you everything uh, that I've learned this year. And this method is great for those who want to do keyword research but don't want to spend a lot of money. Now, I understand what you're probably thinking. You're like, oh, I can use, uh, I could do keyword research for free. I uh, just type in Google Trends and do this and that. And, and uh, yeah, you can use free tools, but you're not going to get quality results. You know, you know, garbage in, garbage out is, is what they say. And you need to spend a bit of money, not a lot, but you do need to spend money on high quality tools in order to get the results like this. Hey, I've been getting a lot of questions again. I've mentioned in another video how to make money with YouTube using AI tools to automate my channel and to save time while building traffic. So hey, if you're interested in how to make money with YouTube using AI tools to automate a lot of your work and to build traffic, uh, I'll put a link in the description and it will take you to the course where you can see how I do that. It's just there for people who are interested. So let's get on with the video. So for those of you uh, who don't know what vidIQ is, a vidIQ is a AI keyword research tool. And it basically gives you a score of how, how much competition there is for that term and how much traffic they have, as well as what the competition tags are and other metrics, right? So you can see I'm ranking first for this term. Now, this isn't to brag, this is just to show you and impress upon you that I know what I'm talking about, especially when it comes to the small channel. All right, because look at this. I'm competing against uh, a channel that has 10.7 million subscribers, right? And another channel here that has uh, 844K subscribers, and, and me, I just only have 3.87. 3,000, 3, okay, let's run it up to 4,000 subscribers, but yet I'm doing quite well in um, competing with or even, even doing better than the um, big, bigger channels. And I'm going to show you this this technique now this technique is uh, what you need to do is you need to compile a list of the very first thing you need to compile a list of all your um, channels that are very similar in size to your channel and topic okay they have to be two things similar in size or subscribers and similar in topic now, the reason why I say that is because your competitors or your, your channels that you want to model after, right, you want to become, you want your site to grow into. So so my channel is 4,000, right? So I have a channel that has 3,000 subs here. I have a channel that has 9,000 subs, 1,000 subs, 6,000 subs, right? These are 6,000 subs. And occasionally I might have like uh, one that's a, a whale, like 61 thousand subs now the reason why I'm doing this is because you want to take these these uh, channels that are similar in topic with a similar size uh, channel because what they do what they rank for is something that you can rank for right and the reason why you don't want to follow the whales is because what they do uh, you can't pull Right? They can rank for very, very high and competitive term traffic because they have the subs to to back it up, right? So if, you, if only 1%, they publish a video and only 1% of their subscribers view that video, it's going to push their video up higher than yours, essentially, is how it works. So you don't have enough uh, weight to compete against these bigger channels so that why that's where I, I recommend you create a list of at least start off with 10 and then grow it as you as you see fit of cha or channels that are very similar to your subscribers so let's say when I started off when I was zero when I was a noob I would go three anywhere between 1,000 to 3,000 subs okay 
And then once I hit 1,000, I went, um, you know, between three to five. And then when I hit 3,000, between three, um, you know, five to five to ten. All right. So you want to keep it within maybe five, six uh, thousand subs of your of your current position. Now, obviously, the higher you go, the more you can kind of account. You, you can have more leeway in that. But in the very beginning, you want to make the subscribers very similar. Now, once you have that list, what you do is you let's say I, I click on let me click on uh, let me click on this one right here. All right. Once I have that list, I I click on the competitors and I use the this is where the vidIQ tool comes in. Oh, let me pause this. Now you're gonna see this trending and the stats if you have the vidIQ extension installed. Now sometimes and I have to warn you about this. Sometimes it doesn't pop up. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, it's like a 50/50 chance. So if that's the case, you just hit go up and you hit refresh and then it'll pop up here. All right. So from here you click on trending. This is the videos that are currently getting views at this time, all right? And th look, this is the heart of a, of a channel. This is what I call the heart of a channel. Why? Because if you go to videos, all right, not all of these are bringing in traffic, all right? You, you can see some of them are flops. A lot of them, what they don't tell you is a lot of them is just, uh, you know, decent, but they don't, they don't, you know, they don't have any constant traffic. So basically, a rule of thumb from what I found from my channel and other channels is maybe 10, 10 to 15 percent of all the videos that they make is where the heart is at, is what is what bringing in 80 percent of the traffic. Okay, and you can see right here, no no current traffic, no no current traffic. This is one 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 view per hour, nothing 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 nothing, and then you go here one uh, two views per hour. All right, so you want to see the meat, you want to see the engine of the of this channel and see what is act what are the videos are actually driving traffic to this channel that's very similar in size to you and similar in topic so you go to trending and essentially this is the x-ray right one two three four five six seven seven of these videos are essentially driving constant traffic per hour to this this uh, channel now now next thing you want to do is you want to see all right out of all of these all right which one is within you know, six months to, you know, 10, 10 or 12 days. This, this one is, this one is a year out. It's a bit kind of, kind of old, right? So this is two months ago, a year ago, a year ago. So six months to 11 days. All right. Now from there, you, you have two choices. You have one that's 11 days ago or one that's six months ago. Now you want to check if you, if you went to six months ago, you have to check. All right. What do they have? How to transfer a personal account to brand account on YouTube 2022, personal versus brand channel. The question you have to ask is, do you know information about this? Right? I mean, it sounds really obvious, but I mean, you know, you have to ask yourself, don't, don't say, oh, okay, well, this is the video. I'll just research it and make it. No, you have to have some kind of interest and you have to have some kind of knowledge in it because it's going to help you save time. Okay. So uh, I don't really know much about this, but uh, this one I know a little bit more about. So I, I click on this one. All right. Let me pause this real quick. Okay, let me pause that. And then from here, the next step you do after that is you look in for the tags. Now, let me warn you, some people hide their tags. They don't have any tags. Right, some of them might not have any video tags. In that case, you look at the title. All right, and you, you have to kind of extract the tags from there and try to play around to see if the tags are in here. But if the tags are in here, then from here, you quickly look at, you, know, you do your keyword research and you see which one of these can you rank for, all right? So let's say this one right here, I wanna see if I can you know maybe rank for this term. I click on this. All right, and then I do a quick search. Overall score 61. That's not bad. That's pretty decent. But the search volume is 1,531. For for my size channel, I I'm maybe looking for 2,000. But when you're starting off, you take what you can. <laughs> you take the small, the, that low hanging fruit. Okay. Um, typically, you're aiming for maybe 60 to 70. All right. Those are kind of easy wins, and that's what you're looking for. So that's one. Um, what else? This one here, too low, right? 45 is too low. 
Okay, this one here, 58. That search volume is way too low. I right, remember about a thousand is, is what you're looking for. Okay, 72. Not too bad. All, right, all in one WP migration. So these are terms people are actually typing into the to the YouTube search, and this is the search volume, all right? And this is the the competition. This is the overall score. So this is what I I aim for. I aim for uh, anywhere between 60 to 70. And what I do is now now that I I've done this, I collected the keyword research off of trending video content that are similar in size and uh, topic as my channel. So I know that I have a very high chance of ranking for this term because if I'm three or 4,000 and this is 9,000, then this is within striking striking distance. I can target this keyword. But if this is like 1 million, 100, 100,000 subscribers, it's out, of, it's out of my league. I cannot compete. So this person has done the leg up for me. This channel has done the leg up for me. They've created the content. It's, uh, let me show you, it's, it's trending. Okay, so uh, let me go over here. All right, it is currently trending at 0.3 views per hour. All right, it doesn't sound like much, but when you stack multiple videos like this, these are the type of videos you want to create that have views per hour so you can build constant traffic. You, you build enough of these, you're going to have you know constant flow of traffic uh, over a period of time. All right, so don't don't. Uh, stick your nose up at oh it's only 0 0.3 it's only one or 0 0.8 a uh, lot of my my chat my videos they have 0 0.3 but I, I create a lot of them using the technique I'm showing you now and that's why I have uh, I've been able to increase my traffic over time you have to be consistent with this and you have to pay attention to the details because the details matter all right so that that's why you need to pay attention to your space and you need to see what videos are you know what what uh, channels are within your subscriber base uh, subscriber count and what what are they creating and then out of those those videos that they're creating which one is a trending and out of the, the ones that are trending what are the tags that are they using and then from there you put your own spin like you have to ask can you make it can you make it better can you put your own twist to it because if you make the same video this video will still outrank you right <laughs> you have to make the content uh, better and then the thumbnail all right so this this uh, section right here was requested by a um, a commenter a viewer and I, I just wanted to make this uh, video for for them and for anyone who's having trouble with keyword research because I know there's a lot of just you know there's a lot of you know, kind of like uh, wrong information out there people that says oh you can just use free tools in theory yes you can just use free tools but in practice um, everyone's using free tools and you really need to use a paid tool to get this type of insight right you, you, if you if you were to do this by by hand and and, and kind of re record the traffic over a period of a week you're, you're gonna be burning so much time it's just not worth it you might as well just pay uh, the, I think nine dollars or whatever it is to to get the um, pro version you only need the the lowest paid uh, tier let me let me show you real quick what you need for this for this to work okay so you only need this plan right here the pro the 750 a month just so you can get trending uh, you can you can see the trending um, videos that's it that's all you need you don't need this you don't need this you know it's it's not it's kind of overkill for the very beginning you're gonna need this and that that's about it uh, because hand hand like doing it by by hand and recording it over time is just a waste it's it's definitely going to burn a lot of your time. So just if you want to do this technique, um, you, you can either go directly to vidIQ or if you use the link that I provide in my description, I happen to get like a small percentage of it and it helps the channel out. And I thank you very much for it. But if not, you can go ahead directly here and just pick the pro. All right. So I just want to point that out. And then uh, this is also part of my series. So, um, this is part of the content optimization within my small channel AI mastery course where I show you how to grow a small channel using AI tools. And the second part is going to be within my, my uh, membership course. So 
it's going to show you an advanced technique, advanced keyword research tool that you can use that as gives you as close as a guarantee to be able to rank number one or number within the top five for a keyword um, for a keyword that you like. All right, but this method right here works about seventy percent of the time. All right, so um, you know if you happen to like it, if it works for you, that's great. And if it doesn't, you don't you don't have to use it, but uh, I just want to share my my technique. It works for me. Obviously, you you can see the um, you can see the results right here. I, I I use everything I say. Now the last thing you have to do uh, uh, before I forget to mention this. Let me pause this real quick. Hello this, and welcome. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you. Let me pause that real quick. So you have to enter the keywords into your your uh, title and your description. Okay. So those are uh, th those are basically the the gist of everything. And if you have any questions about this technique, you can go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. But uh, I want you to try it out. Let me know how it works for you. And if you uh, want to know more, any other topics, please feel free to leave it in the comment section below. I'm Vince from Digital Man Institute. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.